Hey there guys, uh, back with a new lesson today and uh, it's a long overdue lesson as if you remember uh, for a few months back we did the lesson uh, about alternate picking and uh, specifically about the outside picking motion uh, if you remember uh, we've talked about alternate picking and we said that uh, we need basically to master three things it's it's a little bit more, but uh, there are three basic things we need to master. First, alternate picking in one string. Second, alternate picking using outside picking motion. And third, alternate picking using inside picking motion. So today we will cover the third and last part, the inside picking motion. Uh, if uh, we want to keep things really simple, we will just use the outside picking motion example of alternate picking. If you remember correctly, we've uh, taken uh, uh, six notes starting from the 10th fret of the B string. Okay, the A note here, 10th fret, and we, we've gone at 10, 12, 13 on the B string and the same 10, 12, 13 on the E. Okay. And going back down. This was our very, very simple pattern. And the way we've done it is uh, starting on the on down stroke. Okay, down, up, down and then on the next string picking up down up down up okay and continuing again on the B down up down but this time uh, this motion uh, was locking our hand outside of the two strings okay the motion we are going to do today will lock us inside the two strings we are using. So, instead of playing the same thing, we will change one little detail. Instead of picking down on the first note, we will pick up. So, the first is an upstroke. Okay, so the first string, three, string uh, three strokes is up, down, up. Okay, so up, down, up. And now that we have to change strings, we go to the next one with the down strong. So up, down, up, down. As you can see, this up, down locks our picking hand inside the two strings. That's why we call it we call it inside picking motion. When we were starting with a downstroke, the picking hand was locked outside the two strings. So again from the top, up, down, up. Go to the next string with a downstroke down up down and going back up down changing string up down up and of course if you remember correctly from the previous exercise we will do it in a cycle repeating without stopping okay Okay. We will try and cycle this, not worrying too much about how fast we can get it, but how smooth and uh, how relaxed our hand must be. Okay. Uh, I will remind you of the mechanics of good picking motion. If you remember, don't grab the pick tightly. 
economy of motion uh, don't uh, have too much tension on your hands you know things like that if you don't remember them go and repeat revise those uh, lessons we've done a few months back okay so the important thing here is that the pick is trapped the pick is trapped inside the two strings okay so uh, let's get a closer look at the picking hand Okay, so <clears throat> the important thing here is to just cycle it without tensing, without getting tired, without trying to go faster than your ability. Nice relax and uh, starting with an upstroke. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, when changing strings, and down, up. Okay, so that's it. Not really hard, but it takes a bit of practice to get it down. So, before, uh, uh, no, not before, uh, but along with your scale practice, Take a bit of time, watch a movie, uh, get your uh, guitar, get the guitar in your hands, and start drilling those two strings, those six simple notes. But try to cycle it down and smooth it out without stopping. Okay, our goal here is the uniformity of the motion. Okay, not the speed, but to be able to do that without even thinking about it okay uh, same with the uh, outside motion same with uh, inside motion okay same thing with picking using only one string so try to master all these three elements okay have fun <laughs>